Welcome back everybody. Today we're doing a video. It's not really a unboxing video, kind of is, um, as to a question for lot sets for Beyblade in general. So just recently I had purchased a set for um, $25, just a bunch of random bays. They are all complete, so thumbs up on that. I went through, put them all together. They're all complete. Um, one bay is missing one thing and it's just a frame. But other than that, I had an extra frame. So we'll just put that, and it's the same frame. Um, so we'll just put that frame on that bay. So let's get right into it and debunk or conclude if buying these lot sets are worth it. So as you can quickly see, I've gone through and listed out every bay in here. And these are all the price points for if you were to buy these bays brand new on eBay. So, and I checked multiple sellers and I just kind of came to the common consensus of the purchase price. So not necessarily the lowest and not necessarily the highest, but just what was the most common price point found for that bay brand new. Um, just because you might find it for $5 one time, but the average cost would be like $15. So I went with the average cost of buying the bay or the set brand new. So like I said, I picked this up for $25 on Facebook Marketplace. Um, there's a total of, I think, 20, 20 or 30 bays in here. So let's get right into it. So the first item we have is the Super Grip Launcher. Here's the QR code for you. And the Super Grip Launcher prices out around average $11. Next, and as you can see, the QR code's still there. There's really nothing wrong with it. It's kind of been colored on with like, looks to be orange Crayola crown, but nothing a magic eraser won't fix. Other than that, the ripcord has all its teeth. So not bad, 11 bucks, brand new. So we'll put that right there. Um, we have on the list, Betramoth B3. It has hold, heavy, and the Betramoth layer. There's no damage on the Betramoth layer. And it's all in pretty great condition. It's a three star for heavy, hold is hold there's no extra wobble to it um here's the qr code for betramoth and betramoth prices out around ten dot well the most common price i found was ten dollars for betramoth is what you'd be looking at um we have let's get all these extra launchers out of the way sorry i should have started out with that you guys and a random bay that does not need to be in there. <sighs> All right, now with, oh yeah, and this did come with it, a little metal fight tool, but yeah, does, isn't necessarily, as you can see, there's a lot in here. Um, and we're gonna go over each one. So next up on the list is Spryzen S1. And it is the defense single pack Spryzen S1. So we've got shield, heavy, and Spryzen S1. Here we go, here's the QR code for that. Here is shield, it's in pretty good condition. And heavy is a four star. And Spryzen S1 averagely prices out the most common price i found for spries and s1 is 20 dollars and keep in mind where betramoth was 10 the launcher is 11 and spries and s1 shield uh shield heavy um single pack prices out at 20. so we're already at $40 and I only paid 25 
So far, not that bad. Next up is, let's get the next bay. Next up is Minaboros M1. This is another single layer. It has oval quip. Oval is a four star. Quip looks like it's in pretty great condition. And the Minoboros layer is in excellent condition. So these, these layers, the, the proto layers and the um, secondary layers after the proto layers were common for just having chips, cracks in the plastic, you name it. But this being in this condition and I bought it used is phenomenal. All right. And there's the QR code for Minoboros. Minoboros prices out $12. So we're already at $52. Um, the next is actually a set. Let me find it. All right. We have the Horsud and Kerbeus set. Horsud H1, Kerbeus K1. This is Kerbeus's proto stock combo with um, center shield and shield is in excellent condition. Center, we only got a one star. I'm not too bummed about it because the version I bought, I got a four star with it. I did post that video. So if you guys wanna go watch it, go for it. Um, and then next we have Horsuit H1. This is the orange color rendition. And here is the QR code for that. We have spread and I don't remember what this tip is called, but it's in excellent condition as well. Um, there is, yeah, that's not a chip, that's just paint peel. Um, there's no chips on the layer, it's just paint peel. Pretty phenomenal. And then Curbeus, no chips, hardly any paint, I, no, no paint peel. And this set averages right around $25 for the most common price I found for it, but it's 25 and then upward. I did not see any listing lower than $25. So 25 is the lowest and the common price. So we're already sitting $79 and I only paid 25, not bad, not bad. Um, let's get on to the next bay. We have Rocktivore R3. There's no chips in the lair. Both of the wings work. This wing's a little stiff, so I gotta probably put some Dawn dish soap in there to make it come out. But it does come out, as you see. Um, it comes with Cross, Flugel, and Four. Here's the QR code for that. And Flugel is a two star. This bay actually starts at 30 and it goes up to about 60. We have Rocktivore R2. Um, there actually is no common cost for this, brand new. So I went with the lowest price. And the lowest price is $30. Other than that, you're looking at 60, 90, 80. It's just, yeah, there's no issues with the lair. The lair looks great. No paint peel, no chips, no stress. Um, it comes with, is I can't remember if that's Giga, Guard, I don't remember. Um, it is a three star, not too bad. There is no wear on Revolve, so that's also nice. And then here is the QR code for Rocktivore R2. And like I said, the lowest cost, $30 brand new. So that puts us at 80, $87. And again, I only paid 25. Um, 
Okay, this is a set that's getting harder to find, especially brand new. You can find the bays used, but they're not gonna guarantee half the parts. Um, when I picked mine up, I got lucky and they had the parts. We have Roctivore R1 and Nepstrius N1. Roctivore is its stock combo and this is the dual pack. Here is the QR code. There's hardly any paint peel, no stress on the bay, on the layer, no chips on the layer. Heavy is a one star, but my heavy, if you go watch the video, I actually got a four star. Nepstrius in one. So Nepstrius, my Nepstrius had a little bit of wear right here, but this one actually is in pristine condition. Um, it has hollow. I can't remember what this layer, what this disc is called, but we did get a four star for it. And hollow is in pretty great condition. And here is the QR code for Nepstrius. Um, following that we have probably one of my earlier favorite bays. Horosuit H2. As you can see, this is in pristine condition. It really is. Here is the QR code. We have a one star for this disc and claw is in perfect condition. This bay all around is in perfect condition. Horosuit H2 goes for $35, you guys, brand new. We're already in the hundreds. That's all I gotta say. And I only paid 25. Um, following that, we'll get into Wyvron W1. A little bit of paint peel, no chips on the bay, which is nice. Here's the QR code. The same disc, it's a one star. And here is the driver. The driver's in pristine condition, you guys. Just... This bay goes for $12. We'll start stacking them like this. Following that, we have Wyvron W2. There's a little bit of paint peel, no stress on the layer though itself. So other than paint peel, no stress, that's pretty good. Um, there's the QR code, the same driver, but orange and Vanguard, I think is what this weight was called, has a three star. This bay right here goes for, oh, I had it backwards. I'm sorry, you guys. Wyvron W1 goes for $12, still in the hundreds. Wyvron W2 goes for $35 if you want to buy it brand new. Following that, we have Curbeus K2. This bay overall is in pristine condition, you guys. I looked it over multiple times. There's no stress on the bay. There's no chips, there's no cracks. Not even any paint peel, just in pristine condition. Here's the QR code. Curbeus K2 goes for $24. That is honestly the lowest price I was able to find for it. I went ahead and found the lowest price for you guys. Average, you're looking at 40 and up because you're gonna have to buy the silicone, like the shrink wrapped dual packs where you'd have Curbeus K2 with Wyvron K2 or Curbeus K2 with Roctivore K2 and they'll be like silicone wrapped and both boxes will be together and it says two pack. So by itself, $24 is what you're looking at. Um, so that one I went ahead and did a little bit of digging for you guys. Next up is Doom Sizer D1. There's tons of these all over the place, but this one in particular, as you can see, there's like some sort of weird, like, mm, looks like marker. Yeah, some sort of marker on it, but just take a magic eraser to it. Be brand new. There's no stress on the bay, no cracks. 
no paint wear, has oval and is this Excel, oval and Excel. Oval's a one star. And here's the QR code. This bay is commonly priced out at $10. And they're all over the place, you guys. You can find them on Amazon, eBay, everywhere. Next up, a little bit harder of a bay to find. Brand new, Doom Sizer D2. And this is the original Doom Sizer D2, not the recolor rendition. There is a tiny amount of stress in that common stress point right there, right after the gray blade, the clear blade. Um, that's where you're gonna find the most common stress is right there, because it just hits so hard. Then we have Force, it's a one star, QR code, and Jaggy, in great condition. Honestly, in great condition. And this bay, $50 is what you're gonna be paying for if you wanna buy it brand new. All right, guys, this is a pack set, well, a stadium set. Didn't get the stadium, but it's a stadium set, not nor less. The Epic Rivals Stadium set has stock combos for Spryzen and Valtriac. Um, we have Blitz. Is this Blitz? I can't remember. Um, here's the QR code. Valtriac is in good condition. It's got a lot of paint peel, scratches on the layer. You can tell how used this bay was, but there's no breakage on the bay. There's no stress point fractures or anything like that. Here's the QR code. Um, the disc is in good condition, needs to be soaked in jewelry cleaner. And um, the driver is fully activated. They've used this bay, you can tell, a lot. And it wasn't shaved off, it's been rounded, so it's just been used a lot. Yeah, as you can tell, it's been it's been rounded um, from just over like just the amount of use variable. The variable driver has just been used. Okay, we have Spryzen S2. There's a little bit of stress right here on the edges. A lot of paint chill. It's the same. It's in good condition. Um, the rubber around the Unite layer is a little worn and the knuckle disc is a four star and there's the QR code for you. And this stadium set goes for $33 is actually the cheapest. There is no common price for this guys. You're either paying 33 or you're paying 50. Okay. So next up, we have probably one of my favorite sets just because I liked the way it looked when it came out, other than Kerbeus K1. We have the Valtriac V1 and Unicrest U1 dual set. Excel, wing, QR code. No, no issues with the layer. The layer's in actually perfect condition. The driver's in awesome condition, just needs to be soaked in jewelry cleaner and then all this will go away. Wing is actually a four star, which is nice. I have yet to get a four star wing. Unicrest is in the same condition as the Valtriac partner. It's awesome condition. And then this actually, I the R disc, I don't remember what it's called. Actually, it's a four star. Shield is in great condition as well. And this set, um, you'll find it for around 30 bucks. It's like 30 and some change, whether you have to pay shipping or not. Um, so $30, brand new, well, it would get you this set. We're going to the the, one of the reasons why I bought this set next, Valtriac V3, Strike Valtriac. This is the um, starter pack color, the actual initial starter pack color with the 
yellowish gold um, strike layer on it. It's in per it's an awesome condition, you guys. The uh, sixth layer is a one star, as you can see. And the only thing that was missing was the um, frame. I had an extra one. It's not black. It comes with a black frame. Granted, it's not the black frame that comes with it. It's still a frame, needless to say. So, but it's complete. And there we go. Valtriac V3. Strike Valtriac. It's not Strike God because it doesn't have the actual... Um, I actually have it right here. Um, let me find it real quick, guys. Ah, here we go. So it doesn't actually have the God chip. It's just Strike Valtriac. This is Strike God Valtriac. So, but this bay right here goes for 25 is about the common price you'll find for this bay. So super excited to have this bay. Finally, I was going to purchase it brand new, found this on Marketplace and don't have to purchase it brand new. Rock Devore, I was going to purchase brand new. Same thing. Don't have to purchase it brand new. So honestly, it's been, it's been a win right now for me because instead of paying... Well, let's see, 25 and so $55. Instead of paying $55, I paid 25. I paid about half the cost for both bays. Phenomenal. Um, our next set, I have actually unboxed this set. It's in one of my videos. We have Spryzen S1 and Odax. This is the stock combo for Odax, and this is the stock combo for Spryzen S1. Um, it's spread. I think this is, yeah, spread, fusion, Spryzen S1. Awesome condition again, you guys. Um, the spread layer is a one star. We'll move this right here. Odax. It's in great condition. It's not in awesome condition. There's a little bit of paint wear right here, right here. There's no stress fractures on the layer though, or stress on the wear and on the layer in general. So it's in great condition. Um, QR code for Odax. We have center. It's a three star. And I don't remember what this driver is, but it's an it's an excellent condition. So overall I'd rate the bay in great condition. The set will cost you so there's for this set, there's actually very few remaining right now. And the lowest, let me repeat, the lowest price I could find that's affordable, $20. Otherwise, you're looking, there's no, it just jumps from 20 to 40 to 60. I saw one go for 100, you guys. Like it just, there's, there's no common price for that. So if you find it for a cheap price, because these are the proto layers, I would recommend picking it up. This is gonna be a long video, obviously. It's 23 minutes. But I just I just wanna go over it. Um, oh, here's another reason why I bought this set. And I was super happy all the pieces were together. We have the Apex set. This was a Target exclusive. Target and GameStop exclusive, if I remember right. So the Apex attack set comes with Val the red Valtriac, the purple Odax. Um, we have ourselves Extreme and Try, if I remember right. Try is a one star. And then we have Extreme, which the rubber is honestly in awesome condition for being used. Here is the QR code. Um, the Odax layer is in awesome condition. There's hardly any paint peel, no scratches. Next up we have Valtriac V2. There's a little bit of paint chipping. No stress on the layer though, which is nice. Um, Here's the QR code. Blitz, I think is what this one's called, is a two star, not too bad. And we have the white variable driver, which again has been just used. There's nothing left of it. I mean, this, this pack came out maybe, maybe 2017, 2018. So 
I can't judge for there being no rubber left on it. And then the other three drivers, we have Jaggy, the other Excalius driver in great condition. There's plenty of rubber left on it. And then we have Unite, probably one of the better, the best Unite driver out of this set. So honestly, I just, yeah, awesome, awesome pickup. This set goes for 30, 35. You can find it for 30 and some shipping, thir but 35 free shipping is what you're going to be looking at paying for this. So again, just another set I was looking at picking it up. Yeah, it's a shame variable is just, there's, there's no life left on variable, but it still has rubber on it. Um, but not bad, not bad. So like I said, 35 again, brand new. Our, let's get into our next bay. We have one, another one of my favorite bays, Luinor, Nightmare Luinor, basically. Luinor L3. Um, has Destroy. There's, not, there's no disc to it, so it's just Luinor and Destroy. So it was, it was an interesting, it's a shame that there's no, you know, it would have been nice if they would have put stars on the Luinor layer, but they did not. So, yeah. Um, Cause then you'd be like, oh, I got a four star Luinor layer. There's no, it's an awesome condition, a little dirty, nothing some jewelry cleaner can't fix. So, and then the destroy driver, awesome condition. Here's the QR code, Luinor L3. Goes for 40 bucks, you guys. So if you see it brand new for 40, I would recommend picking it up. Or if you see it less than 40 for brand new, definitely pick it up. So we have another bay I was gonna look at buying, but don't have to now, Viprio. So definitely excited to get this bay too. This has wing, um, the evolved version I think this is actually, this is the evolved version for Wyvern W2. Um, yeah, super excited. The Excel, the wing disc is a four star. So I got another four star out of it. The Aviprio Lair is honestly in awesome condition. It's dirty, but it's in awesome condition. QR code. Aviprio goes for $12, you guys. Um, from, up from, from $12, it goes up to at least like 25. But $12, well, you could buy it for a brand new. Uh, and then following a Viprio, oh, probably one of the cooler color renditions. The green drain Fafnir, Fafnir F3. We have, um, it's honestly phenomenal condition for this bay, you guys. Here's the QR code. It has six and cross. The six is a two star, one star right there, another star right there. And then we have whatever this driver is and that's in awesome condition as well. So yeah, awesome condition. And this bay goes for 30, you're looking at 30 bucks for this bay. And these prices are as of February 7th, 20. 23. So this is the most expensive bay out of this set. And I saw one listing, brand new, $150 Beyblade. The original Drain Fafnir with nothing and eight. QR code, it's in Phenomenal condition, you guys. R8 is a zero, is a one star eight, and the nothing driver is honestly in awesome condition. It, overall, phenomenal condition, and especially the fact that this is a hundred and fifty dollar. This is a Hasbro Beyblade, you guys, and it's a hundred. The only listing I found, a hundred and fifty dollars. That's on par with the Takara Tomy counterpart. $150.
if you really want this Beyblade brand new, let me reiterate, $150. Following that, not as exciting, <laughs> not as exciting. We have Anubian, Anubian, Anubian. Um, this is fun fact. This I think is the first driver to actually have a rolling ball in it. So yeah. And then we have, I can't remember what this one is, but yeah, we have this lit, uh, disc it's a one star qr code and the layer's in awesome condition you guys and a nubian 15 bucks will get you an anubian following that we have another bay i was looking at purchasing but don't have to quetzalco i have the other versions now i have the complete and following this i will be making um a completed version for the ones that are complete. So yeah, Quetzalco is complete. And um, it comes with, I have no idea what the J disc is or what it's called. And then we have the Kerbius um, driver, but orange. And this is a three star. The Quetzalco Lair is in awesome condition. So yeah, and Quetzalco goes for about twenty is twenty four dollars, you guys, brand new. Then we have Hypersphere Galaxy Zootron. This is about a eleven dollar bay. You're looking mid, you know, anywhere from like twenty, well, ten to twenty dollars. Eleven bucks was the common price I found. Um, yeah. It comes with L. I don't remember what the L disc is called. It is a four star, so that was pretty nice. I have yet to get a four star for one of these. And this is Hypersphere's rendition of Revolve. And then here is the driver and the layer is in pristine condition. So like I said, 11 bucks gets you Galaxy Zutron for Hypersphere. Following that, it's kind of a semi-expensive set because um, it's a stadium set. We have the vertical drop with um, Bushin Ashindra and um, Dragon, Ace Dragon. There are their stock combos with Hurricane and Keep. Here is the QR code. The lair is in awesome condition. There's a little bit of paint peel right there, but other than that, it's in awesome condition. Hurricane is a three star. And Dragon is in awesome condition, you guys. There's no paint peel, no stress on the lair, no chips on the lair. Here's the QR code. Um, we have the Sting Disc which is a one star right there. I don't know if it's gonna pick up, but yeah, there's the one star. And then we have the charge driver. Okay, down to our last two bays of this set. We have rudder or rooter, or I don't know how to say it. But it's in awesome condition. Again, no issues with the driver, no issues with the disc, no issues with the layer. Um, here's the QR code. Our seven disc is a four star, which is nice. And I believe this is trick. So yeah, honestly, and this bay goes for, um, Rudder goes for about $13, anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks. Common price is around $13. Oh, and I forgot to say, this set goes, the vertical drop set goes for 50, uh, like 50 bucks, dude, like, is the lowest, is honestly the lowest I found this set for. Because even after shipping, you're still looking around $50. So yeah, um, $13, gets you a rudder 
The last bay in this set is Solar Sphinx. Solar Sphinx. It's in awesome condition. Again, guys, there's no stress on the layer, no chips on the layer, no breaks, no cracks, no paint peel. QR code. We have the seven disc again. This time it is a two star. And I do not know what, I don't know what this driver is. <laughs> I don't. Maybe this one's trick. It could be. Maybe it is. Maybe this one's trick and I got the other one wrong. This one looks more like trick. So I don't know. But yeah. And this is about the same thing. Um, oh no, Solar Sphinx goes for eight bucks, guys. You can get it anywhere from seven dollars to ten to twenty, but the average cost is about eight eight bucks. So in total, like I said, I did research, you guys. We're sitting at thirty six minutes here. I'm sorry. Um, in total, to summarize this video up, with all these Beyblades, some of them being pricey, and most of them being in awesome condition. The variable drivers, that's probably going to be the less awesome part because it's like, ah, there's no life in them, but it still has the rubber. So it's like, mm, man. Other than those two drivers, I would say even if, like, even if they're just extras that you pick up from the set, I would say it's a thumbs up, you guys. The lot sets... Granted, I picked mine up on Facebook Marketplace, but from what I got from Facebook Marketplace in my own area, I would say if you see a lot set and it's $25 and you see a couple bays you don't have, pick it up. Pick it up. Even if it's like 50 bucks, pick it up. Because just because you see those one bays in there, there could be bays in there that broke on you and now you have a complete bay again because you left you kept the parts and honestly i paid 25 dollars for all of this and brand new like i said 10 20 12 25 30 30 60 35 12 35 24 10 50 33 31 25 20 35 40 12 34, 50, 150, you guys, for that drain Fafnir. This, this is just like its Takara Tomy counterpart now. $150 if you want this Beyblade, brand new. And it was not just as expensive, but you're still looking at over $30 if you want it used. So this, this is the prize bay out of all of this, is this right here. Financially speaking, all the bays I didn't have that I was seeking after are honestly my prize bays. But this right here is the prize bay. Um, 15, 24, 11, 52, 8, 13, and 11. That equaling out to $867 if I wanted to go out and buy this list of bays. Brand new, $867. I bought them for 25 you guys. Like I said, the variable drivers are, there's there's no life in them. There's still the small layer of rubber that's going to be there because it's hard rubber at this point. But other than that, only paying $25 for something that's worth $867 and there's no damage to the Beyblades, I, it only makes me want to buy more lot sets because if this is a go who knows who knows i can only say what i purchased and 867 dollars worth of value right here in front of me and i only paid 25 that's just that's what i'm gonna leave this at is if you see a lot set for cheap and the pictures look good and when you go to purchase it and if it's in person and you see the conditions up front and you're like you know what these all look great buy it buy it that's all i'm gonna say if you see a lot set it's cheap and you can afford it buy it
you don't know you might not know completely what's in there or you might not know what's in there at all but you could have something like this in there and even if you have one you can turn around and sell it and honestly $150 and I paid 25 for this I'm more than quadrupling my profit that I made off of this one bay, you guys. It just, it's insane. It makes you question what the value of your collection is worth. So honestly, I hope you guys liked the video. I'm sorry it's a 40 minute video. I do apologize, but I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I hope it encourages you to go out and buy these sets, these lot sets. So honestly, quite frankly, like I said, if you see a set, it's cheap. Granted, if you don't know what's in there, I would just buy it. Just buy it to, you know, odd out your chances of marking bays off your list that you want. You know, because as you can see, these bays were bays I was after, and I got them out of this set. So, anyways, I hope you guys liked it. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'm always trying to make more content for you guys. I was 